Providing an abundant supply of safe drinking water and properly managing wastewater are critical to a functioning society. In fact, to our survival. Rising to meet these challenges in New Jersey are more than 3,000 operators of hundreds of water and wastewater treatment plants who must comply with complex and ever-evolving regulations. The experts at the New Jersey Water Association provide a broad range of invaluable training and technical assistance to industry professionals at large and small, public and private facilities throughout the state, often free of charge. There's regulatory issues, there's science behind all, all that we do, there's management issues. It's nice to have uh, a place and an organization that can tie all that together. I'm very happy to work with New Jersey Water Association for their education program, uh, not only for myself, but more importantly for my staff, so that they get the most up-to-date technical knowledge of what's going on with the industry. The small towns have really benefited from the free help, and their staff is amazing. We go on site, help with line location, leak detection, GPS mapping, doing aerial assessments with a drone, and the key is for us to train and show the water operators technical assistance that they may not have in this field. They bring everything to the table that you could want. They're an extremely valuable service to the utilities in the state. The New Jersey Water Association uh, really exists to serve the water and wastewater utilities of New Jersey by serving the people within that industry. Rick Howlett is the executive director of the private nonprofit New Jersey Water Association, established in 1990. Attendance is always strong at the NJWA's annual conference, an opportunity for licensed operators to earn required state certified continuing education credits and for industry professionals who often feel siloed in their work to swap information with colleagues and vendors in a supportive environment. Our attendees are operators, managers, superintendents, executive directors of water and wastewater utilities uh, throughout New Jersey. It really brings people together so they can work together and solve the problems that they have. The NJWA also proactively solves problems through source water protection and energy efficiency programs. The overall goal of source water protection is to prevent very expensive treatment after the fact. We want to try to keep water clean and pristine and healthy before we have to put in very advanced filtration. We go to water and wastewater facilities and we try to find ways for them to save energy, which will hopefully save them in operations costs. The NJWA's comprehensive circuit rider program provides free training and technical assistance to water and wastewater professionals statewide. It helps the operators do their job. Uh, it also gives them the opportunity to put their hands on equipment that they may not have had access to before. Circuit riders can use ground-penetrating radar to easily detect all kinds of pipes, including non-metallic, without the need to do any digging. They fly high-tech drones to eliminate the dangerous work of climbing structures to do inspections, producing stunning photographs and video that safely and clearly demonstrate whether repairs are needed. They detect leaking pipes so they can be repaired, critical to conserving precious resources and money. And they use GPS GIS mapping in which satellites pinpoint the exact latitude and longitude of utilities assets. Vital information for meeting state requirements to transition from paper to digital maps. Industry professionals are grateful that the NJWA can show them how it's done. The New Jersey Water Association provided us guidance on what was the requirements, let us have hands-on touching of the equipment, and trained our employees on how to use it. In 2020, the New Jersey Water Association started its apprenticeship program to help boost the workforce by training new workers as aging employees retire. It's in response to the national projections of upwards of 50% of the licensed operator workforce retiring this decade. In the comprehensive two-year program, apprentices are paid while they learn a win-win situation for men and women looking for a great career, the industry that needs them, 
and the health of our environment. I learned how to change hydrants, treat the water. It's a good opportunity because the salary is good. My eventual goal is to get my operator's license. They help cover some of the cost of salaries. They help cover the cost of the training. They ensure that the men are trained properly and, and they just work hand in hand with you throughout the two year process for the program. It's a very good program. One of the underlying missions for DEP is the protection of public health and the provision of safe water. And it's important to have those that are working with you in the industry, such as New Jersey Water Association, to encourage more young, talented individuals to join this field and help with succession planning for the various water utilities. Whether providing hands-on help in the field or guidance on how to finance infrastructure projects, the New Jersey Water Association elevates its members so they're better equipped to keep our water and environment safe and healthy for generations to come. For both the association staff and the members, their work is much more than a job. It's a calling. The people in this industry are very dedicated to what they do. They know why they show up for work every morning. They know why they worked all throughout the pandemic every single day. For sanitation, for firefighting, for public health, water and wastewater services have to continue. For information about becoming a member of the New Jersey Water Association or to learn more about the NJWA's services, visit njwater.org.